Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm going to be delving into the world of Recallbox and showing you how to install it on the Raspberry Pi 4. So what is Recallbox? Well, it's a free open source application that allows you to organize, manage and play all your retro games. But instead of having to install and start up each individual emulator for each system and then locate and run their associated ROMs, Recallbox provides you with a convenient front-end interface in which to store and launch all your ROMs from a wide range of different emulators. It's probably one of the easiest ways to get started in retro gaming on your Raspberry Pi 4. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to install Recalbox on your Raspberry Pi 4, and then go on to show you how to set up a controller, and also show you how to scrape artwork for your ROMs from the internet, all from within Recalbox. Now of course, I'm not able to provide you with any links to ROMs, but you can find them yourself by doing a simple Google search. So obviously, to get started, you're going to need a Raspberry Pi 4. Now I'm using the 4 gig model, but a 2 gig model will work fine and all its peripherals, including a power supply, SD card, keyboard, and mouse, and a controller. I'm using the PS4 controller. So, the first thing you want to do is head on over to the Recalbox website. I've put a link in the description below. Now, there's lots of information here, and it tells you exactly what Recalbox can do. It even lists all the emulators that are supported by Recalbox. And as you can see, there's quite a few of them, including some of my favorites, the PSP Portable, Sega Mega Drive, and the Nintendo 64, and not forgetting the ZX Spectrum, and Sega Dreamcast. Anyway, what we need to do is head on back to the top and click on the download button. That'll take you to this page, and here you need to select the right link for your Raspberry Pi 4. And that just happens to be this one here. Downloading should take about 2-3 minutes depending on the speed of your connection. Now we're also going to need something to flash the Recalbox ROM onto your SD card. And I'm using the Pi Imager. I've left a download link in the description below where you can get this. Now, once you've installed Pi Imager, open it up, and click on the Choose OS button. Then scroll your way down to Custom, and it will bring up a box. Just navigate to where you downloaded the Recal box ROM, and select it. Click the Open button. Next, we need to click on Choose SD Card, and of course, make sure you have your SD card inserted in your PC, and select it. And finally, click on Write, and click Yes to confirm. It'll then proceed to Write, and then Verify, Recal box on your SD card. It should take about 2-3 minutes. Once it's complete, you'll get the following message, just press continue. Then remove your SD card from your PC and insert it into your Raspberry Pi and boot up. Now the first boot will take a little bit longer than normal. And that's because the SD card has to be repartitioned to create a share drive. And it's that share drive that we copy our ROMs to, by simply dragging them from our PC to the share drive on the SD card. So it's super easy to add and remove games from Recallbox. Now this first boot is a one-time process, so the next time you boot up, it'll be a lot faster. And that's it guys, you are booted into Recallbox. Now I've got my PS4 controller hooked up via USB, so I'm able to scroll through all the emulators available. Now this list will change if you add different ROMs from different systems. Now currently I've got no PlayStation Portable listed, but if I add PlayStation ROMs to the shared drive on the SD card, the next time I boot up, the PlayStation Portable will show up here with all the ROMs listed. But by default, Recalbox does come with some ROMs with each of the systems listed. As you can see here, the Mega Drive has got several games already installed. So let's give Yazzie a quick try. As you can see, the interface on Recalbox is absolutely stunning. It's very smooth. So this is your classic platform game. Very colourful, I might add. Now the great thing here is you can see how easy it was for me to get Recalbox installed and working. Very easy for a newcomer to the Raspberry Pi to get a setup and running. Now another classic that comes pre-installed with the Recal ROM is Kong. So as you can see, you can get set up fairly easily without having to install any ROMs as I think Recallbox comes with around 33 games, distributed between the emulators that are already installed. Now, if you have any issues with the buttons on your controller, you can reconfigure them. Pressing select on the controller will bring up the main menu, and just head on over to controller settings. And from here, you can also pair a Bluetooth controller. Now, going back to the main menu, you can also connect to your Wi-Fi network. Just select network settings, and then scroll down to Wi-Fi SSID, and then from here, select your Wi-Fi network. Now, getting your personal ROMs onto the Recal box is quite straightforward. All you need to do is remove the SD card from your Raspberry Pi and insert it into your PC. You'll get two drives that show up, Recall box and Share. Now, you want to double click on the Share drive to open it up. Now, on the Share folder on the SD card, open up the ROMs folder. Now, in here, you're going to find all the emulators that are supported by Recal box. So, all you need to do is copy over all the ROMs you have into the corresponding folders. So, for example, I'm copying over my N64 ROMs from my PC onto the corresponding N64 folder on the SD card. Now, I'm also doing the same for the PlayStation Portable. Now, once you've copied over all your personal ROMs onto the SD card, just remove it and put it into your Raspberry Pi and boot up. As you can see, the PlayStation Portable and the games have appeared on Recalbox. 
Now the only thing is, there's no artwork with the game. There's a simple fix for this and I'll show you later on in the video. So I'm going to play some Street Fighter Alpha. If some of your ROMs don't have any artwork, you can install them within Localbox. Head on over to Scraper within the main menu and click on Scrape Now. From here you can filter out what systems you want to scrape out artwork for. So currently I've got all 37 systems selected. Now once I press Start, it will look at all the ROMs I have under each system without artwork and start searching online for artwork for them. So overall I'll give the Recal Box experience 10 out of 10. It's absolutely fantastic for beginners, they can get started straight away. Anyway guys, if you found this video helpful, give us a like and maybe even a subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next one.